Hey guys, Tom Fisherman Jay here, and we're back with a, another video. Again, we're doing something today that's a little bit unique and different. Now, I've seen on YouTube a few people fish with Twizzlers and gummy worms and weird and different kind of things, but today's video is inspired by my love of sour candy. So today, we're going to be fishing with Sour Punch Sour Straws. I got the ones that come in different colors, different flavors. You got strawberry, green apple, blue raspberry, and lemon. And let's see if these bass like sour candy. Let's get it. This is what we're working with here. See all the different colors. I got uh, red, yellow, blue, and green. I'm gonna see if I can use uh, one of every color. Maybe they like a certain color better than the other. Let's see if we get any bites. I'm not expecting anything. So if this video is uploaded, then I caught something. <laughs> but if not, I probably won't upload it. But here we go. Two thousand years later. All right, guys. It's been a little bit. Here, here's my approach to this. I've put on a, uh, a few in different ways. They do get really sticky, and the problem that I'm having is they keep falling off. Uh, I'm doing quick little pauses. Um, like quick jerk motions uh, from side to side or up and down and it keeps falling off because it gets really soft so my next approach if you do press it down really hard on the hook it does stay on pretty well so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna let it sit on the bottom and do very very light twitches 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 so and leave it in the water and let it ride on the bottom I know for a fact that this area has very minimal uh, grass and weeds at the bottom um, so it shouldn't get stuck on anything. So I'm just gonna let it sit and kind of like Ned rig it. If you don't know what a Ned rig is, um, you can Google it or look it up. But I'm just gonna Ned rig it and see if they uh, get any strikes that way. Oh, stuck in the weeds. Oh, shit. You guys finally pulled one out on the sour straw. That cast literally was in the water for like, I don't know, probably like four or five minutes. Did it as it was right to the edge, as I was coming close to the end of the cast. He got caught in those little willy pads right there on the sour straw I don't know where it is I guess it fell out of his mouth not too bad of a catch hooked them perfectly right on the bottom of the lip because I had that thing sitting right on the bottom for like five minutes this is crazy I've been here for a really long time so that's why I'm a little excited about this small one. Oh man well finally got one on the sour straw i think that was strawberry flavored this guy loves sour candy not a monster but it's a catch and i've been here for like three hours and it's the only thing i gotten but it's a start got a few more hours left see if we can get some more Whew. thanks buddy let's put him back goes slowly Whew. all right you guys so I feel like the Ned rig works really well with these only because they really resemble um, if you ask me they resemble Senko's they're just small tubes I mean they're obviously skinnier than Senko's but if you rip them you got a three inch four inch Senko right here and if you hook it up just like a Ned Rig, let it uh, sink down to the bottom and then just give it a few taps every now and then, you'll get a little baby to hit or maybe a monster. Who knows? Let's rig it up one more time, 
see if we can pull anything out of here before I gotta leave. I got another one rigged up. This time going blue raspberry and lemon. Let's see what these guys like. Strawberry, maybe. Maybe they like strawberry better. Who knows? So I'm doing, I'm just letting it sit all the way at the bottom. Every 10 or 15 seconds, I'll just give it light taps at the bottom. Just very, very light taps. And that's actually working really well. It's not falling off. It's just lightly rubbing against the bottom of it. And that last one hit literally right in front of me. Here, my feet right here. It literally hit right here as I was getting close to bringing it back in. Let's see what we can get. Another. Uh, you guys, I got another one. Same size. These fish are small. That bite these little candies. I think he bit the same spot. I'm finding a little pattern here. Nice fish. Finding a little pattern. I'm literally bringing it from about 25 yards back all the way in and they keep biting within the first five or 10 feet of where I'm standing. So let's get this guy off the hook. Oh my God, you guys. I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm literally looking down. There's a fish still in this, in the, hold on, let me get this guy off the hook. There's a fish still in this guy's throat. I don't know if you guys can see that, but he hasn't even swallowed the fish he was eating prior to when I threw out my sour straws. Wow. Um, well, I mean, lesson for today is match the hatch. When you see something like this, definitely throw matching lures or matching bait, because this guy, still has his food in his throat that's so funny that's crazy i got this guy on that blue and yellow sour straw and i was just lifting it up and down slowly right by these weeds and apparently they're feeding so he pretty much bites anything i'll show you guys one more time that's crazy fish is right there all right let's let him go second one of the day Whew. goes slowly I think he's mad where's he going look at that guys he just went underneath all those little pads right in front of me oh that scared him there he goes he's mad going with the red one again that was what I got on the first catch Let's see what we can get Got him, you guys. Another one on the sour straw. I was using the red one again this time. Oh, oh my God, that's a, about a three pound bass right in front of me. I'm gonna cast there next, but anyway. Just got this guy. Perfect hook set right on the top of the lip. I think they're getting used to these things. I just dropped the red one in there. Got this little guy. They're all pretty much the same size, but they're sure fun to catch. They bite, like they strike like five pounders, but they come in here about a half a pound. Let's let them go. Let's 
See you, buddy. All right, you guys, I am wrapping up the day here. Um, started fishing at about 8, 30, 9 o'clock. It's now about 4 o'clock. And the reason I stopped is because I am all out. There's nothing left in this box. But I went through these things. They came with probably like 25 of them. And the problem is they do break off in the water because they get really, really soft. But I started to find a pattern. If you just uh, use it as a Ned rig and just slowly, slowly twitch it off the bottom of the floor, they end up and uh, you can actually just try to get a reaction strike out of them. That's why I feel like I caught those fish is just straight out of reaction strikes. Um, and it does look very, very similar to a Senko. You can actually like mold it into a Senko as I showed you guys. But uh, I had a lot of fun. I was not expecting to catch any fish. I am challenging you guys to go out there and fish with uh, sour straws or gummy worms or Twizzlers or anything cool and unique and send me videos or send me pictures of you doing it on my Instagram or Snapchat. Links will be in the description below as well as on the screen right here. So go ahead and check those out and uh, have some fun with it and let me know what you catch. I did catch about three fish today. Uh, they were all pretty small. Uh, one of them actually still had, I believe it was a shad in its mouth. I'm not sure why it bit one of these, but I guess it was just feeding on whatever was around it and it just bit what I had in front of its face. So that was pretty cool. Um, if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching, liking, and subscribing. I will be posting a 500 subscriber giveaway video up soon. Stay tuned for that. And also stay tuned for more fishing videos to come. Thanks a lot, guys. See you later.